How do you know if you need a new roof? Let's find out. Hi, my name's Nicole and I'm the owner of Roof Crafters Roofing. We currently service South Carolina, Georgia, and Florida. We've been in business since 2008 and we have serviced thousands of roofs over the years. And we do all types of roofing, commercial, residential. There's not a roofing system out there that we cannot do. Well, if the roof is leaking, and you've never had it redone before and you've lived in the house for a long, long time, you might need a new roof. But the best way is to really call a roofing professional and have them check it out and give you an estimate for repairs. Or you could even go as far as getting a full roof inspection. And then you'll have all the information about what needs to be done, what can wait, including you know what materials are on your roof. A lot of homeowners aren't aware. One of the easiest ways to tell if you need a new roof, a lot of times on asphalt based shingle, you will see granule loss. So you'll have granule loss down in your driveway or on your sidewalk or by your front door or by your back door. You'll see a lot of granules. So you know you're losing granules. Oftentimes you'll see shingles that have flipped up. You've lost shingles because of they've lost their integrity. So just a little normal thunderstorm or rain or whatever, a little bit of wind that normally wouldn't blow the roof off would actually cause wind damage to the shingles. Those are a couple uh, telltale signs, I would say the best way is to call a licensed roof contractor out, let them come out and do an assessment on the roof. The age of the house, if your house is uh, over 15 years old, I would definitely consider calling out a licensed roofing contractor to do a thorough inspection. right here so a lot of the boards because it's a 1900s house a lot of the boards are broken a lot of the boards are split and opened up they're everywhere so there's a couple different options so we've got to replace the ones that are broken what i'm recommending for this would be to overlay this roof with half inch plywood over the top of the existing that would be the whole roof the whole roof don't have to but i'm saying much better option for this house. All these different cracks and stuff like that. We gotta nail shingles to these old boards. I'm not saying we can't do it and I'm not saying we won't because we do it, but I'm just telling you the best option. In this situation, once we get the shingles tore off and we see that the roof is in this condition. Let me ask you if this makes any difference at all. In about a month, what I'll tell you with a new HVAC system and I'm doing that spray foam on the roof deck. That make any difference to whether I should do this or not? That's going to create a, a seal, and when they spray, that foam comes out wherever, so that foam would actually come in between those cracks. If anything, it makes it better for the spray foam insulation. You're looking to get a, a high R value for the yeah. whole house in the attic. You're going to keep it around 85 degrees when you do that. It's Go nice. ahead and do it. Okay, I'll, I'm going to I'm going to call I'll, Jordan. I'll just blame you, you when I tell my wife she can't get all the stuff for the house. That I, I just happened to come by here today, and like this is the right way to do it. Yeah. Okay, we don't know it until we tear the stuff off, but man. I gotta nail every single six nails and every single those nails hit that crack in that wood. I knew crawling in the attic oh, that there was gonna be some issues. Yeah. I knew that. The house is from 1900. This is a beautiful house, but I mean, it was built in right 1900, right? If you want to know more about replacing or repairing your roof, check out the other videos in our repair and replace playlist.